Good morning. What's good, world? Today is Friday. It's Friday, Friday. Trying to get down on Friday. I don't even know if that's the word. So anyway, it's Friday. I'm sitting here at the dinner dining room table because today me and the husband have to go and get our California license. Um, and so since we're out of state, we actually have to take the written test. So me being ultra paranoid, I am sitting here studying the driver's manual. There's nothing more embarrassing than going and taking a written test and failing it when you've been driving since you were 15 years old. So I'm going to study and have my coffee and um, hope I pass this test. Oh, that's my husband texting me. Um, so yeah, that's all we have. Well, that's all I saw on the schedule today. We'll probably have another game night. Um, you guys saw the footage from last night's game night. It was really fun. Oh. Bill. Yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, what? Yeah, know this. Fishing. Uh, oh, sifting for, for, for clams. But sifting not for clams, clams, but for, 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 for um, like, uh, for, for anything like this color. For, 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 uh, for, for no. gold. For, yes. For, for, Yo yo! I oh know. my god! I'm so sorry! I'm I was like, thinking it was the ping pong thing. He's not thing. getting that! They were like, up down, up down. You were like, ping pong! Bear, are you gonna come back down? Okay, um, it's a drink that you make they, with. Uh, beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> little kids, little kids make it. Little kids make it and they sell it on the side of the road for extra money. Yes. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Now, <laughs> oh I'm god. done. I'm um, done. A selfie is called what? Let me take a selfie stick. Yes, but it's and you're doing what with with the selfie? Gen generally speaking. You are doing taking a picture. Yes. yes. Um, um, for Christmas you are going to present. Yes, but what are you going to do to it? Open. So we'll probably do that today, and then I don't know what else we're going to do, but this driving test has me. I'm not going to lie. It has some stress. I'm not even going to lie. Just because I don't want to fail. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to fail. That's embarrassing. Because then I'll have to come back in a week and retake it. So, I don't know. I, you know, I had to do the same thing, actually. When I moved from Tennessee to Illinois before I got married to my husband, I had to take the test in Illinois as well, the written test. And I study and I passed, but I was just so paranoid. So I was hoping I didn't have to do this again. But anyway, I'll do it again. I'll let y'all know if I pass. If the next thing that comes up and it has me with a sad face, then you know I didn't pass. But anyway, hope you're having a good Friday. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I didn't pass, y'all. <laughs> Just kidding. She fronting. She fronting. Oh, I barely, like, I feel like I barely passed. Those questions, first of all, I had to take a 45 question test. I'm sorry, but my husband didn't because he has a California license. He's just renewing his license. Man, those questions <laughs> had me crazy shook. Questions. I was like, man, when I finished, I was even though the thing said congratulations, I was like, I probably will. But anyway, I <laughs> And then this guy next to me. Yo. So he came in the little booth next to me to take the test. And he was looking over the booth, so I thought he was cheating off me. And I was like, I don't care if he's cheating off me, I can't do anything about that. But then he proceeds to start talking to me, asking me questions. And I'm like, man, I can't talk to you because they're going to think I'm cheating. And then I'm going to have to retake my test in 30 days. No. So I ignored him. <laughs> then my husband, who had taken the test earlier, saw the guy acting cray cray towards me. So at the end of the, at the, end of the session, you had to stand in line so they could just say, hey, congratulations, you did, and give the paperwork. So Eddie comes over there, and I'm like, no, you need to move because I don't want them to think that I'm cheating. <laughs> So I made him get out of the line where I was. I'm like, no, you need to go back over there because I am not trying to get a trouble with you. Like, if you know me, you know, I don't do that whole cheat. I'm like honest and She's I try to, I am. And I like to obey the rules. And I'm like, you cannot be over here. You need to move. It was the testing area. Right, it was the testing area. I'm like, get out of here. You're gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, but he only came over because he saw the guy being a creeper. So he came over to protect me. Yeah. But I was like, you gotta go, bro. Cause I didn't even know like he was asking her anything. All yeah. I saw was, cause initially 
you know, my quite, my test was 18 questions, it was mm -hmm. short. And so I got done and I dipped and I was just watching my baby and just watching her finish her test. It was, it's funny, y'all. Y'all gotta see, I'm gonna have to show y'all how she looked while she's taking this test. <laughs> Stop your thing. Right. We got one more time. Anyway, but then this dude, you know, in uh, an well, I think he was like semi elderly, yeah, he's an elderly semi. black man. And like, I saw him peeping us earlier while we were inside the DMV, like, he was in my grill, like, in our grill. So I'm like, okay, you're just checking us out, you got something to say, like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Just observation. But then when I saw, and when I got done with the test, he posted up next to my baby. <laughs> I'm sitting like, and that's when that's all the so anyway, that's when everything got started. Yeah, so I'm just watching them and I'm literally like, all I see was him, the booths aren't that private. And I saw him like doing this and looking back and looking at her computer and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> what's this dude doing? He was cheating off me. No. Man. And then we were all finished, walked to the car, got to the truck. And I said, where's my purse? Why did I leave my purse inside the DMV? And I went in there and the, the, the last lady, the lady that I was with last before I left out, I went up to her and I was like, um, I think I left my purse in here. And with the blankest look on her face, she was like, what kind of purse was it? And I was like, um, a black purse. She was like, what kind of black purse? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is upside down now. Is it upside down? Okay, this is fix it on so empty. weird. I was like a Michael Kors purse. She was like, well, what's in it? I was like everything <laughs> and then she started laughing and she she had my purse um i guess i just left it on the counter i was in such a rush to get out of there i was like there's a lot of people it was too many people and i don't deal well with, yeah. with people but anyway that's the story of the dmv and now we got our california license and we're good to go and i was slick nervous i get nervous about stuff like this just because i don't like to bail at anything in life so but anyway it was exciting now we're gonna go to get some food from a vegan spot. Woo woo, 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 while we're in there. So we are at the vegan spot. I'm gonna try to show y'all a menu of all the stuff that they have. This place is so good. It's all vegan options. Y'all, it is so amazing. Look, it's, I like the omelette. It's really nice. Um, yeah. So this menu is amazing. Look at that. I'm gonna actually turn the camera around. She was because strong. I don't need to be having it right now. It's vegan. Right? Good. That is good. Yo, made some vegan brownies the other day. Amazing. Oh, God. I love cookies too. It's bad. Me too. Got walnuts in here too? Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all got walnuts. I love walnuts. So good. So good. Jeez. I'm gonna have to go ahead and get it. <laughs> For real. Mm -hmm. For real. Alright. So this is my meal. I got a Rika burger. I meant to tell them to put kale instead of lettuce, but look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And this is like some, I can't remember what this is actually. Oh, corn, like corn poppers. And then 
honey got. What's the name of this burger? It's, What's this it's the mole chicken burrito. Mole chicken burrito. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna be a seven o'clock workout tonight because this girl is not feeling it right now. I wish we got this five. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Marta Danielle is the most beautiful woman in the world. I swear to goodness. Like anytime we go out in public and like she walks away, I like, go to the restroom or something like that. I love staring at her and pretending that I don't know her and I want to get to know her. I'm just saying. What you say? What you nothing, say? Nothing, nothing. I'm nothing. gonna edit the video. No, you're not. And I'm gonna edit out what you just said. What you just say? Mm -hmm. We need to get something to um hold our <laughs> hold our thing up because it always falls. You know, I'm a fan of the suction cup windshield things that just hold the thing, and you see her face already. That's what old people have. In that that's car. what she said. That's what old people have. No, we do. We probably do need to get one though. You know what? Does your phone sit up there better? Because I feel, I feel like mine doesn't sit up there better because it's so slick on the edge. It's because it might. of mine. All right, stay tuned. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's going to stay yeah. better. Bam. Bam, sis. Look at that. I'm going to put an auto box. Outer, what is it called? Auto, auto box. Auto box on my phone. Even though my phone case is really pretty and girly, but I don't need all that. I need, a, I need to be able to prop the... What's that? Nobody else. She oh. had out there out of practice last night. Oh, did she need it today for the hair rally? I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like she would have said something. Yeah, she me too. That. Oh. Oops. <gasps> Precious cargo. Please. That's my mama. Hold on. Alright. I sent her some pictures of Bailey. Bailey had a photo shoot this morning. Ah. <laughs> it was super cute. I was like, you look so <clears throat> handsome this morning. He was like, I know, right? <laughs> he looks so cute. I took so many pictures of him. I was like, oh, my baby. He looked so adorable. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, my God. Yeah. <gasps> I love that one. He's I like love a that G, one. Right? Doesn't he look like a big boy? Mm-hmm. Look, y'all. Look at him, baby. <laughs> look at him, y'all. You know, That's our you last know, one, y'all. You, know, you know, I'm slick proud. You know. Yeah. That's Eddie's. All be all okay. Let me tell you this true story. True story, okay. Life moment. So sometimes things are a little hectic in our home, and there have been times where my husband's like, I'm mad at everybody in the house except Bailey. Maybe slick mad at like me <laughs> and Nevea, like just mad. Not at Bailey. And there have been times where Bailey don't want to have nothing to do with and nobody but Eddie. They got this little male bonding thing. The, the reality is the older people in the house will get frustrated with each other, but no one ever gets frustrated with Bailey. Like, you know, even Nevaeh, she'll be frustrated with us. She as said parents, it too. But she's like, the only one I like in the house is Bailey. <laughs> it's like, Bailey is like, I don't know, he's everybody's <clears throat> little little sweet person. Yeah. I was telling Mara about that last night. I mean, we've got so many kids between us, like, mm -hmm. and every, every kid's personality is different. I'm like, we're blessed with him because he's just one of those that's just like, he's just amazingly sweet. He's still, and he's still a kid. He's still a kid and mm -hmm. does kid things. And he's just, man, like, sometimes though, like, when Bailey does, like, get frustrated or gets huffy puffy with her, it's so minor and it's so minute and just mm -hmm. so simple. She gets frustrated. I do. She gets angry. I'm like, that's all he's doing. I <laughs> wish that's all. I did. Because I'm not you. Because I'm mm. I'm not used to him doing anything. If, if that makes sense. I don't know. like it may seem like oh that's a lot of pressure putting on him. But I don't put any pressure on him. He's mm -hmm. just a. He's just naturally he's just a, the way he is. Yeah, he's just a kind-hearted little dude. Like <clears> from the day he came into the world, he's just been. He just lacks a days ago kind heart. Nothing gets to him, and he just wants. He just loves everybody. He wants mm -hmm. everybody to be happy. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, he will randomly just come up to me. Like, if something doesn't seem like, if he just gets this vibe or a feeling, he'll be like, hey, Mr. Eddie, are you okay? He does. Like, all the time. Mm -hmm. He's always checking on me. Like, are you okay? He's like, you okay? 
You okay? Man. I'm like, yep, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. He's sweet, though. Anyway, so what are we about to do now? Hmm? What are we about to do now? Good question. I know we're not about to work out. That's what I do know. That's not going to happen. Not today. Well, not right now. Yeah, not right we now. Gotta we we got food in our stomachs, and we're just like... I wouldn't mind going for a walk, to be perfectly honest, though. Or just, I don't know, even sitting at the beach or some, I don't know. <laughs> I love her. Oh, I'm just so, oh God, I don't know why. I'm just. You oh. want to go lay down for a minute? No, you we know, not do, but you know how I be napping. I would love to nap. Friday. I know. He doesn't like being there. See, I'm okay. I could be in the house and lay down and nap all day. My husband likes to just kind of be moving in. And that's good. I need to be more like that. And that's how the kids are, too. The kids like to be like, let's go. Let's do something. Not even just spending money, but just out of the house. I'm like, okay, y'all go ahead. I don't know. I just I feel their entire look tired. Let's, let's go lay down. Let's go lay down. I, sometimes I think that I am an extroverted introvert. You are. Um, because honestly, like, uh, I have the tendencies, like, I'm a very outgoing person, and, you know, y'all know me, I love to talk, and, you know, I'm always here, there, and everywhere, but, like, honestly, on the inside, though, sometimes, like, I just have those tendencies, like she said, like, I, I do like to be on the move a lot, but honestly, I'm content sitting in the house, watching TV, laying around, you know, I'm content with that, Yeah. I'm content with not being around people at the same time, you know, <laughs> I really am. I'm very content with that. See, you know, but at the same time, you put me in the environment, I will be... He thrives. He's very much a extrovert, like very social, very easy. Like he's just, he's very easy and effortless in social environments. It's just very smooth for him. He's always been that way ever since high school. Always. But he does have a, a big introverted part of him as well. And when I say that, like introverted, not introverted distance, but he prefers to just be around his family. Like, mm -hmm. he's all right if we just all in the house, keeping yeah. it. Or even if we're out somewhere, like at a barbecue or something, he's okay with just being with his family mm -hmm. in a big gathering, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That's, no, that's real talk. Real talk. Real talk. So we ain't talking about nothing. We just go do a one take, I guess, because we're already at six minutes and 30 seconds. And we ain't talking about nothing. You can go that way to Lego Land. Yes. <gasps> Babe, the corn maze. We need to look into that. We gotta go to the corn maze. Look this that is like one up. this really cool corn maze. Let me yeah. see if I can show you. I know I need like a real camera. Y'all probably can't see. Whatever. We got like a pumpkin patch over there. You guys see that? Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Look at all those pumpkins that are further down there. That's crazy. We're gonna have to go to the I can't believe October's already almost done. I know. So what are they, what are they watering in the field? Where are they growing over there now? Because you know, earlier it was strawberries. Yeah. And then they had like all kind of picking. And now they got people that are picking something. I don't know. Maybe potatoes? I don't know. I don't know Maybe. either. For all I've ever known there is, is strawberries. Right. That's all I've ever known. Okay. It's so weird now because our youngest is a lot older now. So... We were talking about this the other day, like all the stuff that I used to do for him, like in the fall, like festivals and stuff. And he's kind of too big now for that. So whenever I take him to stuff now, I'm seeing that he's just like, oh, I'm a little too big for this now. So I'm just like, I don't know what to do now. Like, would he enjoy the corn maze and picking pumpkins? Mm -hmm. That's a good question because you know sometimes it's hard at that, like you said, like, at yeah. that age, as they start to, you know. So it's just kind of like I don't know what to do with it. A, a preteen for Halloween. Cause I think you'd like it. I think it's one of those things where we as parents, we still just go and we do these things mm -hmm. and either they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. But how will we know unless they actually experience it? Because yeah. when's the last time he's been to a corn maze? Yeah, true. You know, so it's like... Like, know. Nevaeh would love it, you know? True, that's... Because yeah. sometimes Nevaeh, even though she's older, she still likes those little kid things. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. So, I feel like... It's like a crazy in between time, like between 12 and 14, where they're like, ah, I'm too big for this. And then, like, 15 and up, they're like, ooh, let's do this little kitty thing. It's so fun.
because she likes kitty mm -hmm. stuff. Like she likes little, mm -hmm. like some little kid stuff. She really enjoys. Oh, yeah. You know. But I think when they're like in that 12 to 14 age, they're like, oh, I'm too mature and I'm too big and blah blah blah. I don't know. Hi, how are you? Come on, come here. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, that was really, a, Jada? that was a psych. Yeah, she like right. psyched you out. Jada. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're weird, girl. Aww. I think it was you left at me. Like, <laughs> the dog jumped into my arm a second ago. It was weird. Jada, come here. Come here, Puddin. He's like, no. I thought about you. I thought about you. We about to take a nap, y'all. Nap time. It's about to go down on this couch with my cookie and my cookie. Hey, hey my cookie you and my cookie. Meow. A cookie for my cookie. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go. Go get it. 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 Go you want to go outside? Yeah. Leave your toy. Leave your toy. Drop Hold it. Out. Thank you. <laughs> She's going to take her. Just grab up. Oh, good, good. You got it. Come on. There you go. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Look at that. Look at. Look oh at God, you. That hurts so much. Look at you. Jada, it's okay. It's okay, Jada. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Puddin. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, you got it. You got it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. working on finishing the laundry. I just have like maybe two more loads left, but I folded all this laundry, which is not a lot, but I got all the baby stuff in my stuff, the daddy stuff, and I'm ready to go to bed. I'm very, very tired. So I'm gonna call it a night. Um, 